today I'm going to install the diesel heater again. This time I'm permanently installing it. The way a diesel heater is designed, it has this plate is supposed to sit on the floor of a vehicle. And then you have the air intake and exhaust along with the fuel intake on the bottom here. Then the air intake and the air exhaust for the heating side up here inside a vehicle. If I mounted this up on the floor here, up inside the vehicle, it would leave, well, it's kind of noisy. And it would leave just a lot of space for the exhaust. Can't blow the exhaust in down below here. And if I mounted it on the floor down here, like I originally had it, it's about a six inch swing on the exhaust and it hangs down lower than I'd like. If I had a school bus or a van where I had more ground clearance, I just mount it right on the floor. But with the coach bus, there's just not enough ground clearance and I'm gonna wanna go places that are pushing the limits of the ground clearance we do have. So I don't want anything that hangs down below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it up here so that in the cold air return and the air ducts will go up into the bus the exhaust will run straight down through through the floor of the bus and around the exhaust I'm using insulated duct. It should work pretty well. I'm going to weld up a, a support to hold it and I should probably get to that. stand that I welded together, I painted it last night after dark. The stand will have the diesel heater set on top of it and this double walled pipe will sit inside of it. Then the diesel heater exhaust will run down inside of that double walled pipe. I have it held on just by two screws right now, but the diesel heater will sit on top of the stand there with the double walled pipe. Let's so coming out of the bottom of the diesel heater, the one on the right is the exhaust, the one on the left is the air intake, and then that little loop of a line is the fuel line. And the double wall pipe, I'll show you over here. The fuel line comes out through this, just held in by this electrical thing here. And then I bolted the double wall pipe together to make sure it doesn't split. Here's the finished design now with the exhaust installed. The exhaust is attached to the bottom of the diesel heater here. It's got a bracket holding it there so it's good and sturdy. And it comes out the bottom. It'll come out the bottom of the bus and head backwards. Right about there.
One of the things I love about our parking space, despite all the cars and traffic and everything, is the sunrises in the morning are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Like, you can see where the sun is, but oh, it just, it spreads everywhere and it's just gorgeous. Like, ridiculous amounts. Hello, moon. So the sun sets over here. West is somewhere over here. And the whole sky from here, just like the sunrise this morning, all the way around, it's like a 360 event around here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait <laughs> to go somewhere. Oh, I like the reflection in the bus. I can't wait to go somewhere where I can see 360 and there's no cars and highway and all that crap. Ooh, Connor's been erasing these ugly ass swoops from the side of the bus, which this is what happens when it sits out in the sun, but I didn't realize it until Andy pointed it out when we were putting the refrigerator in, just how poor a job they did with these swoops, the, the cutting and the, it just, <sighs> he seems to think that now that I've wrapped our cabinets in vinyl, I should be the one, ooh. Goose hunting. I should be the one doing the wrapping on the bus. I laugh and say, not a fucking chance. You couldn't pay me enough. But honestly, I will probably end up doing it. I've never been excited that the fuel line and the exhaust come out of the same side of the diesel heater and the exhaust that came with the diesel heater was just paper thin. Not only was it paper thin, I don't know if you can see that, but it's crimped right there. So this pipe was designed to be crimped around that aluminum housing that sticks out and you could see on the bottom of the diesel heater where the one side was dark where there was definitely exhaust leaking past this little crimp seam area here. I want to make sure I don't have a fire and really the best way to make sure I don't have a fire is to make sure my exhaust does not leak and especially leak hot exhaust onto the fuel line. So I laid for a couple hours in bed last night just worried about how am I going to be able to inspect this in the future. My new exhaust pipe, the, the three quarter inch black steel pipe, way thicker, way stronger, gonna last way longer than this piece is going to, but at one point it's going to wear out and what I'm worried about is between the aluminum and the steel where I threaded it onto the aluminum, you get dissimilar metals. What if it corrodes there and causes a leak? I, bottom line, I want to be able to inspect this and I can't inspect it the way it is. Even if I laid underneath the coach and looked up three feet up a tube, it's really not that good of an inspection. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to take this top clamp and move it down a little bit and I'm going to put this saddle tee onto this pipe with this cover on it. And that will allow me to still have steel between the exhaust and anything in here and give me a cover I can remove and periodically inspect the exhaust and inspect the fuel line to make sure both are in good working condition. I also plan on replacing the fuel line. I'm gonna do some research and just buy whatever the highest quality line is that I can replace that line with. way better about this now I can remove this cover and now I can access got to look up a little bit but the fuel line is right here I can properly inspect it now and it's still sealed from the luggage compartment
the diesel heater is in it works i really like having the inspection hole it's really nice to be able to see what's going on there I have the fuel line run the fuel tank is in the same bay as the generator good spot for it right now i'm going to hook it up to the 220 gallon built-in tank when once I know what I'm doing with the fuel line. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the fuel line yet, so I'm not gonna permanently hook it up to that fuel tank at this point. The cold air return pulls in air from to the left of the fridge and it pulls it in, heats it in the heater, and then blows it back out underneath the pantry. Seems to work really well. We had it on low last night. It's definitely more efficient when you're pulling the air from inside of the coach versus from down below the coach. The exhaust that runs down through that double walled pipe. Comes down right there underneath the bus. And it's supported and has a muffler right there. It's about as close as I could get it to the bottom of the bus and still have the exhaust. Just barely got an air gap above it. I'm on fly patrol. <laughs> Things are pretty cool. They have one on the wild. It's kind of satisfying the crack when you get one. And the they're... smoke when you make sure they're <laughs> dead because sometimes the zap just stuns them. Yeah, and then you shake them into the compost bin and they go zoop and fly away. That's a tough fly. I'll let it fly away. <laughs> that's a fly that's going to keep coming at you then. Maybe. Maybe you should stay away from me because it knows I'm after it. And I just shocked its ass once. Um, <sighs> hey, we have heat. <laughs> It's nice, nice and nice and warm and dry just in time because in Minnesota here we had like three nights in a row where it was in the 30s. Yeah, oh. like not just like 39, 30, but like, like 33, 33. We had 34, 30. Frost warning two nights in a row. I don't think anything here froze no. for us, but it, ugh, it's, it's way too early for that. It's, it's getting close. It's, Welcome to Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Or see you later, Minnesota, pretty quick here. Yeah, well. Somebody wants to stay in Minnesota longer than someone else wants to stay in Minnesota, but either way. There's there's some people that I'd like to see before we drive out of the state for a very long time. So we're gonna go, believe it or not. North. North. <laughs> oh well. Yep. But uh back onto the I don't even know what we're talking about. We have I'm heat. Lost. Oh yeah, we have heat. <laughs> The diesel heater mm -hmm. works really nice. We had the same diesel heater last winter. We knew how well it was going to uh, work. Yeah. And those 33, this 34 right. degree nights, it was, uh, yeah, we had the thing at like medium. It's not, Yeah. it probably will get down close to zero with the thing on high and be comfortable. And then after that, you know, we're going to have to supplement some other heat, but. Yeah, I think we had a few nights where there actually were single digits there. Yeah, last in February, it, March. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, yep, in March. Yeah, what, whatever. It, it's going to work. We want to stay above 30 degrees. And if it's going to work down to 30 degrees it by itself yeah. on medium, it's going to do what we really need it to do. Yeah, yeah. We definitely want to be out of here before it gets that cold. Yeah, definitely. But the I don't know if anyone has ever heated a small space with a propane heater. They make put a lot of moisture in the air. Mm -hmm. The moisture drips down on you. The diesel heater, you don't have that issue. Um, it's about the same price as a small propane heater, but way, way better heat. I, I really do enjoy the heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do too. I guess that's kind of the end of this video. Mm -hmm. I think so. If you haven't seen me in a couple weeks because i kind of been slacking, but <laughs> Nancy's been working quite hard actually. Uh -huh. And uh, we actually... Whoever knew video editing was so boring. It's fun. I like it's, it. But it's it's, it's not bad. It's a long process, so it takes a long time. And the hard part, I think, is that you're watching so much of the same thing over and over and over yeah. and over again to finally get it down to what you want it to be. But I've been um, writing for quite a while. I think the blog went up like back in I think it was Thanksgiving last year, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, well, really? it was right right after we finished the house. It was like the yeah. first of the first of November, I think. But um, I decided that I w I've been having a hard time finding words that could actually come out and be written down that made sense and was what I wanted it to be. So I grabbed the camera like I have been actually starting to get used to and took it with me and words came out a whole lot easier than they did uh, with my fingers. So 
yeah, I, I made a few videos and yeah, they're up on, there's a link in the description down below if you want to watch them, you can go to the Go to the website and see him through there, or I think there, I don't know if there's a link to the channel. Watch them on the, the website. Go to the website. Bohemian, <laughs> Bohemian by Andy and Nancy .com. There'll be a link to that down below. And then you can watch them through there. You can read her blogs through there. She's really been doing a good job. Well, I can't write. I'm, <laughs> she knows how to write. And I'm really proud of her because she never wanted to get in front of a camera. She didn't even want to be in front of my camera. The, oh, God, no. How long were you making videos in the garage with Connor before I even... Mm -hmm. No, like, I think like, it was we were, you were midway through the house before I finally said, fine, I'll... Yeah, like I'll, I'll four years after my video. first video. Yeah. So. And now she's making <laughs> her own videos. And yeah. once we're on the road, it'll have our adventures and it'll have yeah. our other things. This yeah. channel's going to be the bus build and probably other things I build afterwards because this channel has always been me building and you know I put vlogs of my own and stuff in here but it's it's always been something to do with building and something to do with making and I think mm -hmm. our other channel is going to have something to do about doing you know going to yep yep that's places, the plan what we see whether it's flowers or rocks or birds or whatever whatever <laughs> um, and if you happen to like my shirt there's a link for that down below too Thanks for watching this video for the four of you that are still here. <laughs> we'll see you later. Peace.